Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to Arcage 2.0 with your host Only One Shinobi and today we're going to take a look at the Holotide Two Crowns event. So there are two quests you can do out here uh, when you've completed the Solus line of events. Uh, and they send you out here to crowns at the arena where all of the Halloween stuff is going down. As you can see, a uh, subscriber shout out to Raina for finding me here <laughs> in two crowns. Uh, just so happened to to be here at the same time, so thanks for finding me. Um, I think Raina is going to join me in this video uh, and we're going to attempt these quests together, but first uh, we should dance. So the first thing you can do actually is talk to Welkos here, he'll give you a little quest to light the pumpkin lanterns. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward, just accept the quest and then, then light these little pumpkins everywhere. Um, this quest is quite easy, rewards just one Halloween token. Uh, this is really not the main event here in Two Crowns, but it is something that you can do every day to get a token. So make sure that you complete this um, every day if you want to get the Halloween prize days. So once you get all three, you just head back to Welkos and turn it in uh, to him, he gives you it, your token. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is come into the Two Crowns Arena. This is the main event, this is why we're here, uh, and this is also why it's quite laggy, so I apologize if there's any lag in this video. Uh, but basically the Two Crowns event happens uh, four times a day, and you can come out here at the specific time when the event is about to start. Um, and you'll get the quest for the trick-or-treating or throwing candy into two ghosts baskets now as you can see as we come up here there are a crap ton of people in a tiny little area um, and this is one reason why I think this event is really not going as planned um, you know I kind of failed at this event because my my computer just can't handle this many people in a small space uh, so we got here a little bit early just so that my computer can kind of adjust to the amount of people and the amount of crap happening in a tiny little space um, but as you can see it's freaking crazy here um, I think it was a mistake to have an event a uh, global event where anyone can participate in such a small area. So many people here uh, really makes things crazy. We have some nice music though. So basically when the event starts, uh, you're going to want to be in a raid so that your group can all get it together. And when the event starts, you just basically have to go up to the quest giver who's at the front of the arena, uh, touch the demon stone to get the quest, um, and then the demon stone is going to ask you to throw candy into the spirit's jack-o'-lantern. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I have to say that I don't exactly know what this means because every time I come out here to the event, it looks exactly like this. Uh, there's people everywhere, there's crazy lag up my ass, and I can't really look or see or do anything. Um, as you can see then, there's also people with farm carts and um, siege weapons and they're moving people around, they're opening portals, uh, they're going to try to get them to go through. Uh, and since this is pre-recorded, I can tell you that this is actually what happens uh, to me. So here the quest has begun, uh, the event has begun, and uh, you have to touch the demon stone. So everyone is sort of crowding around this stone to pick up the quest, um, and we'll see what happens. As you can see, um, I kind of here, I got pushed into a portal. now. 
it's disappointing. Um, it basically means that wherever they open that portal to, that's where I'm going to go. Um, and they opened it to some city, I am, I guess, uh, Marianopol or something like that. And uh, by the time my computer loads the screen, I'm already dead. So I did not get to participate in this event. Um, and if you're like me and you don't have portals turned off, you're going to end up in the same situation. So make sure that you turn off uh, the ability to jump through other people's portals. So unfortunately, my uh, my attempt to, to get this information out to you was a complete and total fail. So if you have any footage or any clips or any advice on what to do next, uh, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, but essentially, you touch the demon portal, throw candy at the spirits, and then claim your prize in the treasure chest. Uh, and the first person to do so gets um more than one token i'm assuming i'm not really sure it probably won't come back because it's just too crazy for me to even try to participate in so as i'm running back here uh there is one thing you can do then to avoid this from happening to you uh is to go into your settings and open your options and you're gonna want to go down to i believe it's uh functionality and then scroll down and you can see there's an option to disable the ability to go through other people's portals. And this here will save you from uh, basically being pushed through someone else's portal. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to help us here in this video, but in the future it will help you. Uh, so make sure you have that turned off or turned on um, and so that you don't accidentally get pushed out of the event. <laughs> like I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and run back to the event. Um, I believe it takes about five minutes for me to do so and by the time I get there the event uh, should be over. It happens fairly quickly so you cannot miss out on the event or you just won't be able to complete the quest. Okay, so finally we're back and as you can see the area is still completely crowded. We're only about five minutes late um, after the event, uh, but it's already over. And since I wasn't here and I wasn't in the party, then I just um, haven't completed the quest. It's unfinished and there's no way for me to complete it at this point. So if you're not here exactly on time, you're going to miss out, and uh, if you're not in a group or you get shoved in a portal, you're going to miss out. I think that, um, you know, it's really kind of disappointing that one of the events from Halloween is just unable for some people uh, to participate in, unfortunately. So the event wasn't a complete wash. Raina invited us out to her home here where she's summoning an evil snow lion demon with her pentagram of candles. <laughs> um, actually, this is just going to be a quick Halloween shout out to those of you who have decorated for Halloween. It is just around the corner at the time of this posting and Raina was friendly enough to bring us out here to her house uh, and show us how she's decorated. It looks quite nice. Got a nice little pumpkin patch in front, uh, pumpkins on the thatch, and that evil cute demon summoning pentagram inside there. Um, so kind of cute. Um, if you guys do know of any houses that are just excellently decorated or kind of in, in the spirit of Halloween, uh, definitely leave me some links in the comment section or give me directions and I will try to make a special Halloween Pimp My House episode uh, showing all the fun decorations depending on how much interest we have. So at the end of this day, uh, Raina was nice enough to take me out to her friend's solarium as well. So let's take a quick look at that. So this one here I think uh, is actually quite cute. I like the way that uh, the owner designed this nice little walkway uh, with the trees on the side and everything going on up to the solarium. It's quite nice, got a nice feel to it. And as we approach the solarium you'll see some, some Halloween decorations. It's nicely decorated. Uh, some balloons and a pumpkin table, some jack-o'-lanterns. As we go inside, you'll see a uh, nice little homey area with a gigantic blue coffin. <laughs> it's a pretty nice coffin. Uh, I think I've got one in my house in Solas uh, as well. 
Um, just kind of nicely decorated with some Halloween decorations. So I'm going to leave you here in this episode. Um, that's going to be all for this. So unfortunately, Two Crowns was not as successful as I hoped it would be. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to get any, any more footage. Um, in the meantime, definitely leave me some comments and let me know where you think the best Halloween houses are on Kyrios. And I will go and take a look. Uh, if you're on a different server, definitely you can still give me a shout out and I'll do my best to take a tour. Um, until then, I will see you all in the next episode. Happy Halloween!